Today I need some diethyl ether, which isn't always easy to get your hands on. So I bought a couple of cans of uh, quick start starting fluid for diesel engines. This particular brand contains diethyl ether, aliphatic naphtha, and a propellant, which is CO2. It's mostly diethyl ether in the can, so I set up to do a simple distillation of the ether. I'm using an electric hot plate with an aluminum pot of water on it. The warm water is used to indirectly heat my 500 milliliter boiling flask, which contains the first can of starting fluid. There was roughly 400 milliliters of starting fluid, mostly ether, in the can. I have my thermometer in the adapter head, a simple condenser, and then I've set up a uh, round bottom collection flask that we can see the ether dripping into as it distills over. This simple distillation is proceeding well. Of course, ether boils at around 34.6 Celsius, and depending on what naphtha you have, it will only boil at between 160 to 220 Celsius. So by keeping my temperature way down using uh, the water heating bath, I'm not going to get enough heat to transfer any naphtha over, of course. So I should be getting some decent diethyl ether, at least good enough that I can use it for uh, soxlet extraction of flower petals, which is what I'm intending to do with this ether as soon as I've collected uh, an amount in excess of 250 milliliters, which is the amount I need to run my Soxlet apparatus. At this point, I'm about three quarters complete, and the collection of diethyl ether is going quite well. I should probably point out that this isn't being done at home. I'm over at my workshop where I happen to have a 6,000 cubic feet per minute ventilation system, which will of course clear fumes very, very quickly here. This is very important when doing chemistry. Either do it outside on a nice day, or do it in a place where you have massive exhaust ventilation or a proper chemist's fume hood. Just don't do it at home with inadequate ventilation. I also have several fire extinguishers at hand here should anything go wrong. I have CO2 and dry chemical fire extinguishers at hand. As the distillation of diethyl ether from diesel engine starting fluid to nears its end, the remaining liquid in the boiling flask is no longer bubbling aggressively. I believe most of the ether has been extracted at this point. And if we look over at the collection flask, the drip rate out of my condenser is slowing down noticeably. I'm going to stop this process shortly. I easily have uh, enough ether now for my intended purpose of a soxlet extraction of flower petals. I've now turned off the heat source, water flow is still running to the condenser, and I'm allowing things to cool down as the process is now finished. 
I've successfully collected a good amount of diethyl ether, and I'm satisfied. Thanks for watching, and as always, there'll be plenty more to come.